Right, I don't know if I'm actually going to post this video. Um, it's just, I'm starting off with this as a kind of an exercise because I have been in the house on my own for like the whole day basically. Um, and it's been like, my husband went to work at let's say 8 and it's now 11 p.m. So I've been um, on my own for like 24 hours, more than 24 hours, whatever it on top of that makes the time it is now. And I haven't had anyone to talk to at all and I am feeling pretty um, speedy or what I call, when I, when I talk to my husband, zippy how I'm feeling right now um and I just wanted to talk <laughs> um so yeah my video the other day was like I was in the depths of shit basically but then um so this Dibrexa I've been taking the Dibrexa the Olanzapine for like three or four nights now and when I wake up um yesterday morning I literally just woke up I spent the whole day doing stuff. I um like I fucking hate cooking, any of that shit. And I was like cooking, um I cooked stuff, I like baked some crazy walnut carrot banana loaf or something. Um and I was cleaning, I was tidying up, I did loads of stuff. And then eventually my husband went to bed, I stayed up, I tidied and like organised my whole entire bookshelf, like um, categorised it and things, um, then I sat on chat, this chat room, I go on for mental health, um, issues and, like, spoke to some guy in England for, like, hours. I just had this weird thing, I don't know, was I, whether I was just speaking in an American accent or something, I don't know. I just had this, I just heard myself like an American accent, that was weird. Anyway, I probably am pick, picking it up a bit anyway, but, so, I don't know where I was now. Um, yeah, I stayed up till about four in the morning, my husband actually said, right, you have to come to bed, and I took some lorazepam, and that kind of did the trick, I lay down in a dark room. So I got about four hours sleep. Again today, this morning, woke up, been doing stuff all day, tidying the house, cleaning, organising stuff. Like, I've got some my speakers to work, speaker system to work that I haven't had working for, like, a couple of years. So, blasting the music. And um, then I went on for, for a walk for, like, an hour and a half, um, just around my neighbourhood, because I'm, I'm, like, quite new here, so I didn't really know like what it was like and it's really really nice so I just walked around um I walked really fast um but it felt good it felt good and so how I feel now is like as if it if I've like just got up and I feel really refreshed in the morning um you know so say if you get up on the weekend, you wake up at nine or something and you get up and you think, oh yeah, I had a good, good night's sleep. I don't know. I don't know if that is actually making any sense at all. But basically, just like if you, you know, when you had a, have a good night's sleep and I wake up, you wake up feeling refreshed, like, ah, oh, you know, what am I going to do today? Well, that's how, exactly how I feel now and it's 11 p.m. And that's how I felt at like 4 a.m. this morning you know, before I took the lorazepam to calm me down. So, things have got weird. So, um, I don't feel as anxious. I don't feel any anxious at all. Like, I don't feel any anxiety. All those things I was thinking, I'm still thinking them, but I feel like I don't care as much about, about it. But I don't, obviously still don't feel quite right. Um, and I'm not really sure what to do now. Uh, like, my husband's not getting home till like four in the morning because he's working um, some thing he's doing. 
so I feel like oh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next however many hours. There's still like five hours before he maybe comes home. I thought about cleaning the bath and having a bath. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. I've been watching stuff on YouTube. I've been making notes about stuff to take to the psychiatrist uh, on um, Monday about how weird I am. Uh, anyway, I guess I, I am slightly manic. Oh. Um, and as you can see, like my body is fucking telling me to go to sleep, but my brain's like, oh, no, you will stay awake, you will stay awake. Um, my husband's probably very lucky that he's not here at the moment because I would probably be absolutely doing his fucking head in. Sorry about my language. Um, because I would be doing all this at him. And, and all that sort of thing. <gasps> oh my god. I swear, like, I'm getting, like, putting on weight around my face. My face looks really fat. I don't know. Like, <sighs> uh, so, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next however long. I guess I could, she could take more lorazepam and try and get it to um, knock me out, but I don't know, I guess I could do that, probably a good idea. <sighs> Ugh. I'm obviously tired, it's just my brain's just like, oh, I've just woken up, I need to see stuff, what are you talking about? I organised so much stuff today because we just moved into our house like two weeks ago, so um, that I've just done loads, emptying out boxes, packing things into like our attic, um, putting things aside to sell and stuff like that. Oh, maybe making this video is helping because it's made me yawn a lot. You know what, talking would be so much better if I had someone to talk, like, that was talking back to me. Like, right now, like, I've been in this chat chat room on this um, site that I like to use, uh, which is called crazyboards.org, for those of you who'd like to try it out, it's, it's awesome. I've been on there for a couple of months, there's a lot of people who have been on there for years, and it's just good for talking about mental health and things. And now I'm aware that I can't remember what I was saying. But yeah, that chat room. Oh, I've got to stop doing that. That chat room. Um, I can't. I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, so I'm on there, but it it moves really slowly if there's not many people on there, which normally when it gets later, like there's only not that many people on like 10 people so or less you're talking you know chatting and then it takes forever for a response to come through and it's like oh too slow and that's why I thought I'll come on here because then I can just talk 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 as much as I want to but it's annoying that I don't have anyone to talk back to me so what I need now is some kind of interactive I guess that like video thing, I guess that's what they call Skype <laughs> or FaceTime or whatever. Some of you who are eagle eyed may have noticed that I'm wearing the same t shirt that I was wearing in my other video when I was fucking miserable, and um, that is because, yes, I am wearing the same MTV t shirt, but uh, and that is because I have not showered. Um, I'm really bad at this at the moment. This l last like ten day, two weeks, um, I probably had a shower maybe once every four days or something. I don't stink at all. Seriously, like I I smell fine. I just 
I really like my hair is a bit greasy. Um, and I end up wearing the same fucking t-shirt. But um uh that's just where it is. <gasps> I really have no motivation to even shower, which for me is pretty amazing because I'm a super clean person normally and I will wash my hair every day and use a hair dryer, straighten my hair, do all that shit. Uh, anyway, I can see that I've been talking for 10 minutes now. And I guess that's, I've kind of given myself that little um, window of 10 minutes to talk shit. So, I'm going to go now. And just spend the rest of the day talking shit to myself instead.